no doubt the Sacramento fans want to see their team get the game. That's a, that's a big one for the Kings. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Houston. Boy, defensively, they've played with a high energy level, guys. And all the steals we've seen, really a result of that aggressiveness. You know, adding to that, Steve, you look at their block totals tonight, and you see how feisty they've been on the defensive end this game. Here's Iguodala. James Harden picking up that last basket. Iguodala dishes to Barnes with the fadeaway. Adiunas grabs the miss. Adiunas has got his fourth rebound in this one. Allen with it, and it's Iguodala picking him up. Beyond the arc. Kicks it out to Allen. Three-pointer. That's good. And it's a five-point rocket lead. They've clearly been the better team on the glass. But it hasn't necessarily translated to the scoreboard yet. But you feel like it's going to, to reward this team at some point. They've got to continue to maintain the energy. That's a big basket there. And you can expect them to be very involved and aggressive the rest of the way. Harden outside. Back to Allen. Fires for three. Here's Yunus. Nice work on the board. Staying off with the basket. Yunus has got the lead up to five now for Houston. Warriors have gone two for five on field goal attempts in the fourth quarter. Curry kicks to lead. Curry against Allen. Here's Lee. It's rebounded by Houston. Yunus has got seven rebounds in the game. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. Harden with it. Harden now by Barnes. Here's Snell. Off target from three-point range. Warriors trail by five. Lee is screen on Hart. Barnes passes to Curry. Feeds to Bogut. Good, and Curry gets the assist. That's 12 points for Andrew Bogut. Well, they were sleeping on defense. The defense really didn't do its job. I mean, a little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. That's costly. Well, and at this stage of such a tight game, I think this is when tired legs start to show. And the defense can become vulnerable in the low block. No luck. This is not the slam dunk contest. You don't get do-overs. You got to finish the job. Snell dishes to Harden. He feeds it to Snell. The Rockets again can't hit. The Warriors have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Out to the right wing. Boga kicks to Barnes. Iguodala, the pass to Kerr. Count it and the foul. It's on Monte Unis. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there amongst the tall trees. Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. And then for Houston, Howard's checked in for Monte Unis. Risa comes in for Tony Snell. And it's Patrick Beverly in for Allen. This looks like a pregame shoot-around with all the threes they're allowing. Yeah, I don't know, Clark. I think there might be even more defense in warm-ups. I mean, this is kind of embarrassing. And Curry, here we go. That's good. Curry's got 29 in the game. You know, that's one way he can finish, but not the only way. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. Howard in the post, covered by Bogut. Left block shot on the way. And again, the Rockets good for two. And you look at the story defensively in this game. I mean, they've gone backwards in the second half. A little too casual for me. It's costing them. They're paying for it. Now, here's Thompson. Barnes dishes to Thompson. And he converts the layup. Thompson's got 12 points in just the second half. Just seems like they're finding an open lane to the hoop every time down. It's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Curry kicks to Barnes. Harrison Barnes, the seventh overall pick in 2012 out of North Carolina. He's got prototypical size and athleticism for that small forward position. Still developing his overall game, but he's got enormous potential. And the Rockets making a change here. Gibson's checked in. Rockets have got a pretty good rhythm going offensively, shooting 8 of 15 for the quarter. There's the triple. And it's Beverly missing. Look at the last game for the Golden State Warriors. It was a win against the Denver Nuggets. Curry passes to Barnes. He dishes it to Lee. 
to take the lead. That drops. This has really become an intense ball game ever since halftime. Boy, the effort from both teams here, Steve, is terrific. Harden kicks to Beverly. Back to Harden. Fires it up. And off the glass. That one's good. Harden's got the game tied up here for the Rockets. Well, he's clearly feeling it, Clark, coming off that fantastic game last time out. Thompson dishes to Barnes. Curry setting the pick for Lee. He kicks it to Curry. Just five on the clock. Here's the three. And the shot is good. Curry's got 11 here in this quarter alone. Now that's his first three of the half. There may be more in store. Harden kicks to Beverly. Here's Gibson. Howard trying to free himself up. Shot's good by Gibson. And at this stage of the game, that offensive rebound and putback is enormous. I mean, that feels like a four-point swing. It's Curry with the drive. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more by aggressively attacking the basket. And he's not shying away from the contact, which has given him some free throw opportunities. Green, he's checked in for lead. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And they should be looking at a three-point lead. Hopefully for them, that miss won't cost them. And Thompson kicks to Green. The big dunk at the end of the break. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high. Fantastic one-hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. Now, here is Harden. From deep three-point range, they get it back. Here's Curry, the dish to Barnes. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two. You look at what Barnes has done so far. Nine points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. Now his outside stroke has looked really good today. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Here's Beverly. Hits the jumper. Well, they found the touch here in the second half from the field. And everything else we talk about, folks, rebounding, defense, all of that, this game is still about making shots. you got to put the ball in the basket. That's the bottom line. And they found a way to do it here in the second half. And it's sent back by Howard. And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. Thompson sets the pick for Curry. Barnes passes to Bogut. Six on the shot clock. A shot by Thompson. No one's around. The second chance effort and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. You know, even from here, you could see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. And he sinks the second. Now a timeout called by Houston. Recommending an awful lot of fouls, and most of them are unproductive. You don't want to let guys get easy layups. I understand that. But this could turn into a parade to the foul line. Allen's checked in for Patrick Beverly. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. He told them it's time to fight and take the lead. Let's put ourselves in position to bring it home. Guys, we'll see if they've got what it takes to get it done. Now Barnes following Ray Allen's three-point attempt. Rockets trail by five. Gibson dishes to Howard. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. That's what I like, a nice, strong finish inside. That's what he does. He's got that dunker mentality. Mm, just a tremendous athlete. Guys able to go up and finish over everybody defensively, even the big guys down low. He's been working some magic out there today, guys. This lead has been largely his making. Harden kicks to Allen. That doesn't go either for Allen. It has not been an easy quarter for him, at least offensively speaking. Allen against Barnes. Rebounded by Howard. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. Kicks it out to Allen. Good on the three-point shot. Allen's got 11 points here in just the second half. Boy, they've come out of halftime with so 
smoking hot from behind the arc. Hey, trust me on this one, partner. They are going to continue to let him fly. Some nice passing by Golden State. Curry kicks to Barnes. And he can't answer back the three-pointer offline. Well, remember, he made two three-pointers in the first half, but has not been able to get anything to fall here in the second. That is good. Well, he's playing with an edge here, playing extremely well offensively here in the second half. Thompson against Harden. Poke it down low. Thompson outside. Here's the three. It's rebounded by Houston. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Harden with it. Picked up by Thompson. Allen kicks to Harden. And there's the call on Howard. That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Curry against Allen. With some arc, it falls! I tell you what, Steph Curry, somebody lit a fire under him. Game could be on the line right here. It's basically now or never for them. A tough position. Harden draws the double. Nobody near Allen. Money! Huge points. That's beyond huge, Steve. I mean, they needed that bucket desperately. I'm out called the Warriors. They're losing by one. 26 seconds left in the game. Here's Curry. Here's Bogut. And the rebound goes to Howard. Guys, we have seen that with a lot of good ball movement. Well, you like the smooth operating they're showing you here. I mean, things are clicking, and more importantly, it makes them tough to defend. Yeah, there's no agenda, and the ball's just moving to whoever is open. And as a result, they've kind of developed a clicking uh, pace to their game. It's been fun to watch. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. Huge free throws there, and that could be the difference. It will force, more than likely, a desperation three-point attempt. Hey, you gotta love to see that kind of range. He's been lighting it up from outside. Timeout called the Rockets. The score is knotted at 124. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Harden outside. Ariza outside. Buries the triple. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. Just threes raining in from everywhere. Yeah, work that perimeter. Work it good. And they might as well milk it while they're hot. So it's a narrow victory for the Rockets pulling it out for the W. Well, they don't get much more exciting than that, Clark. They sure don't. And when it was gut check time, this team kept their composure, kept their emotions in check, and got it done. And now we send you down to Doris Burke courtside, who's with our Jordan player of the game. Doris? Well, congratulations on this win, James. And did you feel like the chemistry tonight with how the team continued to get you the ball made the difference in getting you into your rhythm? Yeah, uh, just, just stuck with it. You know, our teammates kept encouraging me. I just kept moving the ball like they needed the shots. Um, they did a great job of looking for me. It inspires great confidence when your teammates believe in you guys. All right, Doris, thank you. And for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Now our Jordan player of the game, James Harden.